Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial we are going to create a simple admin panel design using HTML and CSS. So here you can see this is, uh, this is admin base and we have a logout option. So here we are going to have a sidebar and at the top over here we are going to have the logout option here and we are going to make this using HTML and CSS. So let's go back to our code and here you can see currently I am in my admin page and here you can see we have some HTML structure. So I will just remove this h on and anchor tag and first of all I am going to mention a div and in this div let's say here class class name will be wrapper after that we are going to mention another div and in this div let's mention another class and the class name will be sidebar so inside this sidebar I am going to first have a h2 tag let's say we will have the admin parallel title it will be ecom admin then we'll mention a ul tag inside ul tag we're going to have a li tag then inside this li tag we'll have a anchor tag so for now in this href let's give a hash here and let me just copy this li tag and i'm going to paste it over here let's say three times two and three so let's say the first one will be dashboard the second one will be users the third one will be add products and the last one will be view products so right now if we save this and if we just refresh our browser there you can see we have icon admin and the li tag or the anchor tag so first of all let's just remove the padding here padding and margin and let's also remove the underline and the this dot here i mean the list style here so for it let's go back to our code and here in this admin folder i'm going to create admin style.css file so i just right click on my admin folder then click on new file and the file name will be admin style.css okay let me just give a underscore here so let's save this and click save so first of all we need to link uh, this admin underscore style.css with our admin page.php so for it here inside the head section i'm going to say here link and here in the h step we'll say admin underscore style dot css so we'll say here admin underscore style dot css so also write this it means we are connected with our admin style dot css so here first we'll give a star here then give to second bracket we are going to say here margin it will be zero then padding it will be zero after that we are going to say text decoration it will be none so text decoration is for the anchor tag for the underline and then we'll say list style it will be none and we'll mention one more thing that is box sizing it will be border box if we now save this then here the padding will be gone the space will be gone this dot sign will be gone and the underscore sign will be gone if we refresh there you can see it will look like this so right now let's go and add a few more text for the admin body so for the let's go back to our code and here you can see that uh, inside the deep class wrapper we have the sidebar divs so after the sidebar div i'm going to mention one more div here so for this div the class name will be let's say header then inside this div let's mention another div and in this div we are going to have a anchor tag and this will be for the log out button let's just give a hash for now and here we're going to say class let's say class will be admin underscore header then we are going to mention another div and for this div let's mention a class here the class name will be info so inside this div let's add some text here just some random text and if we now set this then refresh here there you can see it will look like this and here you can see we have the logout option so we want this logout option and this text to be on the right side so for it what we are going to do is that here this div class header and this uh, div class sidebar is inside the class called wrapper so let's go to our admin style and here we are going to say dot wrapper we are going to say here display it will be flags and we'll also say here position it will be relative if we now set this then refresh here there you can see the logout and the text is on the right side let me just zoom in there you can see so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to have a background color for this sidebar so let's go back and here you can see the sidebar is inside the wrapper glass so what we are going to do is we we'll say here dot wrapper 
then we'll say dot sidebar. Then to second bracket, we'll say background color will be black and the width for the sidebar will be let's say 200 PA and the height will be 100 percent. And for the sidebar, the position will be fixed. Let's also add a padding. Let's say padding will be 30 PA. If we now save this, then refresh here, it will look like this. And here you can see that the H2 DAX, the ecom admin color is black. That's why we are not able to see it. So let's just fix this one first. So let's go back to our port. And you can see that this ecom admin is inside the H2 DAX. So let me just copy this wrapper and sidebar. Then paste it here. We are going to mention the tag H2. Then to second bracket, first of all, we'll say here the color for the text will be white. Let's add a margin bottom. It will be 30 bits. Let's save this and let's refresh. And there you can see. Let's do one more thing that is text transform. It will be uppercase. Let me show you. There you go. So let's just change the font family for the text, for all the text. So for it, let me just go at the top and here to set this style, I'm going to say font family. It will be, let's say, sans share. Refresh and it will look like this. So let me just say here, font size will be 20 px. Save, then refresh and there you go. Right now, let's go and add some padding for the li tag. For it, let's go back to our code. And here, let me just copy this wrapper and sidebar. Then you can see that the li tag is inside the ul tag and this ul tag is inside the sidebar and wrapper class. So we are going to say ul, then li, then to second bracket. Let's say the padding will be 18 bx. Refresh and there you go. Now let's go and change the color for the anchor tag and let's also change the font size as well. For it here you can see that the text is inside the anchor tag. So I'm just going to copy this. Then paste it here. Mention the anchor tag to second bracket. We'll say color for the text will be white. Then font size will be 16 pm. Let me show you. And this is how it will look. So let's add a hover effect for the text. For it, it is really simple. All we need to do is we need to say here wrapper, ul, li, anchor tag. Then we need to say hover. And the color will be, let's say, sky blue. We need to hover our cursor on the text. And there you can see the color change to sky blue. And let's also change the background as well. For it, what we need to do is this time we are going to write the hover effect for the li tag so we'll say here hover and for it the background color will be let's say green set then refresh and there you go if we now hover on it the background color is changed so there you can see the background color changed but it's not taking the full width so let me just go back and let me just go to the sidebar and here you can see wrapper sidebar so after this padding 30 pH I'm going to say padding 0 pH for the left side if we now save it then refresh here there you can see it move to the left side and right now it's taking the full width of that list so let's have it in the centers for it I'm just going to say for this H2 tag text align it will be center Refresh and there you go. So here you can see that the text is right now inside this black sidebar. So we are going to move this on the right side. For me, what we are going to do is first of all, let's write the CSS for the logout option first. For it, here you can see that uh, it is inside the header section. So let's then write some CSS for this header. Let me copy this. Let's go to our admin style. Here I am going to say dot header. Then to second bracket, then we'll say here margin left, it will be, let me just show you. Here uh, you can see that for the sidebar we mentioned, the sidebar width will be 200 pixels or 200px. 
So for the header, we are going to say margin left, it will be 200 pa. So it will move the text, whatever we have inside this header to a little bit on the right side because we said margin left. If we now refresh, there you can see everything is on the right side. So let's have this logout option on the right side and let's have the text position here. Let's go back. Let's say here width will be 100%. After that, here you can see inside the header, we have admin underscore header. So I'm going to say here dot header, then dot admin header then to second bracket first of all we are going to say the background color will be black for the header we are going to say padding will be 15 px we'll say width it will be 100 percent and the height it will be 70 px save this then refresh here there you can see we have a black background and the height is 70 px and width is 100 percent so let's have this logout on the right side. Let's go back and here you can see that the logout is inside the anchor tag. Header, admin header, then the anchor tag. So let me just copy this, then paste it here, mention the anchor tag. To second bracket, we are going to say float, it will be right. We are going to add a background color for the anchor tag. Let's say the background color will be sky blue. Then padding will be 10 pa and let's make the background color round. So we are going to say here border radius it will be 15 px. Let's say save it, refresh and there you can see we have the logout option. And let's have the text a little bit downside. So we are going to use margin top here for the text and the text is inside the info class so i'm going to write some css for the info class so i'll say here info to second bracket let's say here margin top it will be let's make it 120 pixel and let's also say padding 10 px save it then refresh and there you go okay i think 120 is too much so let's say here 70 px and let me just uh, copy this text and i'm going to paste it multiple times so that it looks better save and there you go so this is how you can create a simple admin panel using html and css so here you can see we have the logout option so what we are going to do is that for this logout option i'm going to mention this logout.php which I showed you in the previous tutorial. So for it, there you can see this logout.php is outside the admin folder. So we need to give here dot dot slash, then we'll say logout.php. Let's save it. Refresh here, click on logout. It will take us to the login form. And if we say here admin at that of gmail.com, then if the password, click login, it will take us to the admin panel. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add product from the admin panel in PHP. So make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.